वेलकम टू दिस कोर्स ऑन स्टार्ट योर जर्नी फ्रॉम एम्बेडेड टू आई ओ टी सो लेट टॉक्स अबाउट द आई ओ टी सो यू हैव गॉन थ्रू द दिस टर्म आई ओ टी इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर सो लेट रिकेप देयर सो यू हैव गॉन थ्रू द आई ओ टी वर्ड विच स्टैंड फॉर द इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स सो वी हैव गॉट टू वर्ड्स दैट इज इंटरनेट एंड द थिंग्स सो हाउ द थिंग्स आर बीन कनेक्टेड विद द इंटरनेट दैट स्टैंड फॉर द आई ओ टी सो लेट मी गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल सो लेट से दिस इज योर होम एंड in this home you have one room in which you have installed the ac so let's say this is your ac device so if i ask you what is the purpose of this ac so you will going to say that sir the purpose of ac is to maintain the room temperature the purpose of ac is to maintain the room temperature that means if uh, you feeling hot you can decrease the temperature if you are feeling cold you can increase the temperature of the ac how that ac is sensing the temperature so what we can say that uh, we have got a temperature sensor we have got a temperature sensor the temperature sensor will going to sense the temperature of the room and accordingly it will going to display on the ac display board that current temperature is this or it will going to display on the remote control i hope you have seen this okay it will going to display it on the remote control as well because some of the ac do not have this uh, display option so how we are controlling this temperature we are increasing this temperature or decreasing this temperature with the help of a remote now this structure which i have referred right now is known as the thing so i can say this is the thing i am controlling this ac with the help of a remote control when uh, this remote control is in the range of this ac but i don't want to control the ac from the room i want to control my ac from somewhere outside the house okay let's say i am in the market or uh, i am in my office okay or i am in the university so i have to control my ac turning back from the office to my home i want that okay when i come my house so i can feel a cool air inside my room so that i can relax so what i can do i can connect this ac with another things okay and let's say that things is your mobile phone mobile phone or it can be some web based application now how i will going to connect the things that is my ac with the mobile phone so for that i require the connectivity so if i talk about the let's say bluetooth so you can see that bluetooth has got a limited range if you are connected with the wifi also so you will be able to control the devices okay with the help of a wifi if your wifi range is coming in that uh, device range i want to communicate for a long distance i want to connect the things two things over a long distance so for that what i require i require a internet connectivity so what i will trying to do that i will going to connect these two things with the help of a internet okay is it clear so what i have done i have connected the two things with the help of the internet now what is my purpose so my purpose is that when i am coming back to my house so this is your house and let's say i'm coming back from my office okay so when i'm on the way what i want i will going to open my mobile phone okay and i will going to turn on my ac okay so i what i can do i will going to send some instruction to this and what i will going to do i will going to turn on the ac okay then this ac will going to measure what is the current room temperature and it will going to send back another message to the mobile phone that what is the current temperature of the room okay so let's say uh, it say that current temperature of the room is 35 degree celsius okay now what i will do i will again okay i want to make my room to be cool so what i will do i will going to again send the message i will lower the temperature and i will going to set my temperature at let's say 20 degree celsius okay so what i have done i have connected this ac okay 
with the i have connected this ac with the mobile phone with the help of the internet okay and then what i'm doing i'm exchanging my information that whatever the information ac has sent the information to the mobile phone that what is the current temperature and again this mobile with the help of a mobile phone what i have done i have changed the temperature of the ac so what i'm doing i'm exchanging my information so whenever we are talking about the internet of things we are talking about the two things one is the connecting the devices and second is the exchange of exchange of information is it clear basically when we are talking about the term iot we are doing these two things we are connecting the devices with the help of the internet and we are exchanging some information okay so if i go on the definition of the iot so what the iot say that iot describe the network of a physical object that is a things that are embedded with the sensor so i have talked about the temperature sensor so we have got a temperature sensor and temperature sensor will going to sense the current temperature and it will going to send the information to the mobile phone and then we will going to lower the temperature so for that what we require we require some software we require some programming so we are saying that whenever we are talking about the iot so it describes the network of a physical object that are the things that are embedded with the sensor software and other technology and what is the purpose the purpose is to connect and exchange the data with the devices with we can say with two devices or more devices when they are connected over the internet i hope this definition of iot is clear to you okay therefore there are two terms that we always refer in the iot one is the internet and another is things mm -hmm.